In this video, I'm going to go over some of the more advanced features of Asset Tiger. We'll start with users, adding people who can access your list of assets, and permissions, detailing what those users can do and what they can't do with your list. Let's get started. If you want to give other people access to your list of assets, as the administrator, you're going to have to add users. You can do that here. Click Advanced and go down to Users. Here is the current list of users, but I need to add a new colleague. Click Add New in the upper right. Before I input the information, let's talk about permissions. We start you with three levels of permissions, each with specific kinds of access to the data. If you select the admin group, that user will have access to everything. That person will have equal access to you as the administrator of the group. If you select manager group, that person will have access to everything except the highest functions, like changing the company information, setting up alerts, and adding users. And if you select viewer group, as the name implies, that person can look at the information but not add to it or edit it. These three groups are just our suggestions. You can add different levels of access, or you can edit the ones that we've already provided. As an example, I'm going to edit the manager group by clicking Manage Groups. With Manager Group selected, click Edit. Here's a list of all the actions a user of the manager group is allowed to exercise. For example, they can delete assets, they can import assets, they can work with the assets in any location within the business. As you go down the line, you can see a manager has access to most actions, except under the tab of Admin Rights. Since this is all customizable, you can change it any way that makes sense for your business. In this example, I'd like the managers to be able to add users so that I, as the administrator, don't have to do it each time. So I'll click Users. Now every manager can add users. We've gotten some feedback about the ways people are using this function. For example, one customer told us that his company has two buildings with two managers and he uses this function to limit their access only to the equipment in their own building. So let's configure our permissions for a scenario like that, which is going to mean adding some permission groups. With the manager group selected, click Duplicate. In the top box, you can name this group. This will be the manager for the Brooklyn office. Then down here, I'll make sure only the Brooklyn office is selected. Nothing has changed, so people in this permission group have all the access of any manager, except now their access is site-specific. Click Submit. See, Brooklyn Manager is now available as an option. I repeat this process for the Jersey City office manager. And here you go, both are available. And just to avoid confusion, I'm going to change the name of the old manager group to general manager so that it's clear that anyone in that permission group has access to both locations. To do that, select manager group and click edit. I'll type the new name in the box at the top. See, the general manager has access to both Brooklyn and Jersey City. Click submit. And now all of these groups are available when you're adding users. So let's do that. Find Users under the Advanced tab. Here is your current list of users, and it's time to add our new colleague. Click Add New. I'm going to add Gina Chen, the new head of sales in the Brooklyn office, which is a management level position. We have that permission group already set up, so I select Brooklyn Manager. All of the fields with asterisks are required. Here you can adjust time zones and time formats. Even upload a picture if you like, which is of course not required. Click Submit. An email will automatically be sent to the user to confirm. Until the new user does confirm, the list will have this green Send Verification Email note. If you want to resend the verification email again for any reason, just click right here. This is an example of a user who has confirmed. 
You can add an unlimited number of users, by the way. Like pretty much every function of Asset Tiger, there are no caps on the number of entries. We want you to have the best experience possible when you're using the site. So if you have any questions at all, just give us a call or drop us an email. You can find our contact information here under Help Support Contact Us. We have a team of Asset Tiger experts who are ready to lend a hand. Just give us a call.